continuing again. Let's um, talk about my advice for a young artist. I mean, if you're a kid, if you're a young person still in high school, And I'll tell you that. Focus on what you want to do in life. Focus on that. Focus and find people that in the field that uh, that you want to um, pursue later on. In art, for example, if you want to become a tattooer, visit the um, look at all the um, the Facebook pages that have um, tattoos or tattoo designs. If you want to go into paint, painting, that goes that's different. There's realism portrait work or maiden stuff like um, H.R. Giger work biomechanics and just study look at it, study it in the airbrushing there's so many so many types of art to name, but uh, you know, check it out. Check check them out. Study them. See which ones you like. Which styles you don't like. Which artists um, you know you think are awesome. Which ones you you don't. Which ones you don't want to be like. Uh, write to them. Uh, add them on Facebook. Uh, and if you can't drive, um, ask your parents or friends or someone, an adult, to take you to their book signings at bookstores at, at Barnes and Noble. Visit them at, um, at comic book conventions. Write to them on Twitter, on Facebook. Your parents don't let you do that, we'll ask them to do it. You know. Don't make excuses. Don't waste your time playing 18 hours of video games. It's cool to play, you know, a couple hours a week. But the moment you'll say, oh, I'll start drawing later, or I'm good enough. Now, who do you think will get ahead? The kid that plays um, video games all weekend long, or the kid that plays uh, video games a couple hours a week and practices the rest after doing their homework? You know, there's. You know, you do what your competition is not doing. So if they're sleeping, sleeping in early, and getting up late to watch cartoons, you're doing the opposite. You're staying up late studying, sketching, reviewing. pictures that you took of, of flowers on the street of cities of landscapes I'll study the lighting you 
you do what all the the beginners aren't doing. You dedicate the time and the practice. Because if you don't do it, someone else will. You know, I see so many people say, oh, you know, that's, um, I don't have time to, um, to draw. I'm busy. I got school. I got work to do. But at the same time, there some girl calls him up. Hey, I want to go. Take me to the mall. Take me to a you know useless school dance. Take me to a. C.D. Hawkins, a football game, prom, or things that are, in my opinion, irrelevant. You know, there's, um, there were a few people that I went to school with that were big on doing all these dances and after school events that had nothing to do with their interest in life. You know, people that instead of staying home and practicing how to draw or paint or read up on their um, favorite painters or learning from YouTube videos, they um, did all these other stupid little things that had nothing to do with their careers and now they're you know, running a pizzeria. They're, um, you know, the security guards. They're single parents. They're working at a at a bank. There is nothing wrong with that with those jobs. Nothing. But I think the um, I believe what makes these things. be a mistake to pursue is um, activities that have nothing to do with your interests is that you're not gaining ground or experience or knowledge in what you really want to do. You know, I wasted many hours learning calculus, trigonometry, algebra 2. For what? learn about the Pythagorean theorem, cosine, sine, tangent. It doesn't... I'm not using that stuff here. Now if I wanted to become a doctor, that's a different story if I wanted to pursue medicine or a field of medicine. But I'm not. You know, if your, your goal is to pursue medicine, or be a doctor, or become a scientist, and you know, there's no need to practice all these hours into drawing. But maybe for a science project, right? But you're not gonna spend you know your entire time reading about. You know, Da Vinci or Michelangelo. Instead, read up on books by, let's say, Dr. Benjamin Carson, the neurosurgeon. Or study or ask to learn about what is John Hopkins University or what classes are needed to go into Harvard Medical School. You know. You want to go ahead and play Xbox or PS3, PS4 or PS5. You know, go ahead. But when you look back on life and you see other people going ahead and living their dreams, they're the ones designing the PS4, or PS5 games, and you're just there. You know, 
spending your a quarter of your paycheck from a miserable boss not pursuing your dream so sit down and practice even if you're from a small town or far away country don't make any, ex any excuses you know so what if you don't have the uh, the Bristol paper the fancy stuff that I'm drawing on all you have is copy paper then that, that'll do you know keep your sketches you know create a, a YouTube account show your videos you know maybe there's a teacher out there that would like an apprentice you know you gotta be willing to sharpen those pencils for them if they ask you to or clean their brushes got to start at the bottom. I started at the bottom. I used to pick fruit, clean toilets, scrub them real clean behind, inside the bowl, the sinks, dust the corners. I did all that stuff and I did enough of it to say, you know what, this is not this is not me, there's more for me to do. I know that my brain can can create. It's not a, it, it's hungry for more knowledge. So I better do something about it. And You know, don't don't make any any excuses. You know that I don't have the um, I don't have the funds to um, or uh, no one no one cares about me. No one's no one's helping me out. Nobody nobody loves me. Nobody believes in me. Look, we all have it hard. Life is not a Disney movie. There are, there are challenges out there. Do your best. Study. Practice. Train. And there are so many things you can do to, to invest into your future. The hazard isn't just having a, a negative girlfriend that's going to tell you, oh, you know, baby, spend time with me. But it's also going to be your friends are going to be like, oh, you know, let's go party, let's go drink, let's go smoke. Smoke weed or let's go vandalize, go break into this house or let's just go get bitches and for what? And you know, there's a whole different world up there. I have seen artists that have become world famous because they sat down and put the hours on. Before you know it, you're getting invited into people's homes for a, for a personal feast. You know, the hot chicks that just love your artwork, love who you are because you had the guts to pursue your dreams. You know, the financial offers to you to draw their book or other stuff. So, sit down and practice.